For Reconciliation Week 2016, 40 students from the Burdekin, Ingham and Townsville took part in the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders in Marine Science program at Sims. The program runs over a month and culminates in a field trip to Orpheus Island off the coast of Ingham in North Queensland, where students get to experience the marine environments they've been studying. What we do is we try and link up Western marine science and traditional knowledge um, going both ways really, so trying to get Western scientists learning more about traditional management uh, and trying to get some of these indigenous youths really interested in pursuing careers in marine science as well as marine management. Um, but yes, I do want to go into like marine science and you know, help animals and help pe tell people how to protect the, the coral you know, and tell them all about the climate change and the temperature. The field trip includes shore walks, snorkelling and information about the region's history from traditional owners. When uh, Gabriel came through, there was no, no seas. And when he came through, he shaped and moulded his groups of islands. He... Traditional way, we knew how to hunt, just enough to feed families, whereas today they overfish the place and they don't get that sustainability to preserve these things, you know, so it's, it's killing everything. With these young generations coming through uni and that, it'll be a plus for them to know we can work together, so, you know, and we come together as one. So I think it's important. Fewer than 1% of marine science and management roles are held by Indigenous Australians. Joe Pollock says it's a shame when modern science can learn so much from thousands of years of traditional land custodianship. These people have incredibly deep connections to the reef. Their stories need to be told. The, their traditional rights need to be respected. And in order for that to happen, we need these young kids to be interested in those careers, right? And, you know, the world we live in, they need to be able to speak that Western science sort of vocabulary. Traditionally, we come from the land, and so, like some of us, we have like a connection to it, and it's great for them to like know their background and where they come from, yeah, and how the land works. I was watching the students there; they were really taken up, taken up with it, you know, and that that excites me to know that they're willing to learn. So if they keep on that path. It's good for us, good for our people and good for them. They can hand that from their generation down to the next generation. You know.